I'm just putting some pegs in the lawn. So basically we're a lawn care franchise, so we look after people's lawns effectively. So it's treating four or five times a year, fertiliser, weed control, moss control, a um, bit of mechanical work like scarifying, aeration. I worked in the flower industry for about 10, 15 years, something like that. So yes, yeah, so that's horticultural type of thing, but not necessarily on the you know, directly on the gardens and yeah. things like that, yeah, so. And what made you decide to change? Uh, I wanted to work for myself, really. So it was been working for companies for years and decided that I was getting to that sort of stage in your life, really, I think, where you have to make a decision, don't you, what you want to do. So, um, you know, working for myself. So, but franchise seemed like a good way, because obviously you get the protection, really, of having a company behind you rather than having to start your own business yourselves, if you like. This leaf that popped through the door, representing green sleeves, and so that, you know we had them treating our lawn. And I thought I could do that, and we went to speak to um, two of the directors up in Huddersfield, where they put a bit more meat on the bone, really, because obviously you get the prospectus and everything like that. So really, it's the best. That was the best opportunity for us then to ask some questions, and obviously they gave us their, you know, information as well. So um, it's a massive business, really, or potential business. It's an un uh, quite an untapped market. Um, you Why know, do you think that is? I think it's because people are slowly starting to get into it. You know, it's obviously come from America like a lot of these things and people just, you know, always used to tackle these things themselves and now with, you know, not necessarily much time or inclination, they've moved away from that and they, a lot more people get people in to do things, you know, so it's a bit like a, a survey. For the cost wise, you know, it's, che it's as cheap a lot of times for us yeah. to come in and do what we do than it is for them to do it themselves so we always say that that's the, the best way really but yeah that, that's it tends to be more mistakes that you're rectifying okay. saving marriages <laughs> this is your spreader uh, which we fill with fertilizer which is this one this is our spring mix at the moment we get different mix for the different times of the year that's one lawn fertilized and then the other thing that you take with you Yep. is one of these which is your knapsack sprayer normally you carry two of these around with you yep. um, one with moss killer and one with weed spray this is a, what we call a scarifier yep. so basically it's a mechanical rake for the lawns okay. so it, it basically rips into the surface of the lawn taking out all thatch and moss and what have you this is the this is the one that everyone's been waiting for <laughs> hollow tine aerator Yes, so basically a plugger. So basically what it does is it punches holes into the, oh, onto okay. the lawn yeah. and that just helps ease compaction on the lawn okay. and helps um, drainage as well because obviously what you do is you have all little holes all across the lawn and then the lawn just moves into that space. After you've done everything you need to do, will they see an improvement? Depends on the time of year. Yeah. If we're doing spring treatments now and um, with the spring fertiliser and spraying the moss, they'll probably notice treat, they'll notice that a difference pretty much straight away really because obviously the grass will start growing. I would say most of the time it's five, five, six days a week so a typical week would be probably servicing you know I'd say anything between 15 and 20 lawns a day something like that with, with your regular treatments yeah. and then when you get to the mechanical times of, the, times of the year which is spring and autumn is the busiest periods for that then you could be you know you might only do two or three a day because obviously they're a lot more involved you know thank you bye, bye. thanks again i've got some customers yeah that make me um, homemade biscuits and tea on a tray and all sorts you know i normally take a picture on my phone of the i put them on instagram it brings back faith in humanity really that most of the people you meet um because they've got interest in their gardens and things they want them to be looking nice as well they're normally nice people so you do you know you do come across some you know good customers who you you know you get quite friendly with them as well you know and some old ladies that you go and see you might be the only person they've seen for you know a week sort of thing as well so you know they make you a cup of tea and they you know they have a bit of a chat with you and you stand and chat with them and you know and that's it really so um there is that part of it as well you know which is quite nice